Welcome to another episode of Rambling with Phil. We were recently at the Gaylord Resort in Nashville, Tennessee. Inside the resort, they actually have a river, and we decided to go ahead and take the boat tour. All right, well, before we get too far, if you look over here on my left-hand side, we have a little bitty tree sitting on the platform. That is our oldest and smallest tree here in our resort. It is the little oak bonsai tree, and it is 120 years old. I'll tell you what, horticulture does a fantastic job of taking care of that little tree. I'm really glad I'm not a horticulture to get a fire wood. I'm not sure to get right now. I can't take care of a cactus of a load of 120 year old tree. Well, welcome to Gaylord Opryland Resort and Convention Center and the Delta River Boat Company. Now we are cruising on the Delta River. The Delta River is two feet deep, a quarter of a mile long, and has 450,000 gallons of water in it. When we opened up the Delta River and the Delta Atrium back in 1996, we wanted to go about it in a rather unique way. So we teamed up with Jack Daniels and sent out about 3,000 empty Jack Daniels bottles across the world. We got a little over 1,700 back representing all 50 states in over 30 countries. The very first bottle we received back was from the Jordan River in Israel, so you're floating on international waters here in Nashville. Now back when we opened up the river in 1996, we had all of our employees at the time grab those little bitty bottles of water. They sit on all of the bridges along the river, counted the three, pour the water in at the same time, and called it the floating of the water ceremony. Now we do have fish here in our river. We have catfish, bluegills, and carp. You may see some of our fish along the cruise. And as we come out from under this bridge, towards the right hand side and straight back, it is our largest chandelier here in our resort. That chandelier weighs in at 3,000 pounds and has 158 light bulbs on it. Now, housekeeping cleans that chandelier and replaces all the light bulbs about once a month. It takes them six hours to clean it with four of them cleaning it, and they just push a button and it goes right down to ground level. Once they get done, they push a button and it goes right back up. They bring the dirt to them. But that isn't the smartest thing I've ever heard of. <laughs> I don't know what is. Now, back in March, up to 80% of our guests did stay here on convention business. So we needed some rather large ballrooms. And straight ahead up on that second level behind those white pillars is our Delta ballroom. Now, we can seat up to 4,000 banquet style and 7,000 theater style. That is the largest ballroom here in our resort and the largest in the state of Tennessee. Another feature about our Delta Ballroom is that the ceiling is painted to look like the blue daytime sky and has special effects to turn it into a simply nighttime sky when the sun goes down. On my left hand side we have this white brick wall exterior. That is the original exterior of the hotel when we opened back in 1977. It's now called our Magnolia section and it is 43 this year. So we opened up the original hotel with 600 guest rooms and one ballroom. We made our first expansion back in 1983 when we added the garden conservatory atrium. In 1988 we added the Cascades atrium and in 1996 we added this one, our Delta. We now have a grand total of 2,888 guest rooms, five presidential suites, several ballrooms and over 700,000 square feet of meeting, convention and exhibition space. If you're going to look out those guest rooms back in 1977, which you see that we were floating on were parking lots in tennis court. Definitely come a long way since then. Coming up on the right hand side, we're going to start passing a line of our fruit trees. The first two trees that we'll be passing are papaya. Following our two papaya trees, we have a pineapple guava tree, which is native to southern Brazil. Now you won't see any fruit producing off of that tree because we do need two to cross-pollinate with and we only have one. Following our pineapple guava, we have the orange, lime, kumquat, avocado, and two great fruit trees on the end. On my left hand side, we have our two tabletop black olive trees and then the three ponytail palm trees as well. So we did have a team of 20 horticulturists here in the hotel to take care of all of our plants. That has now been reduced to about five for the entire property. So we have 20 on the inside, 20 on the outside, and we only have five all together. What? Why? Because of our pandemic, we can only bring so many people back. And so we had those who stayed 
throughout the entire pandemic. We only have five throughout the whole entire thing. So we're trying to bring them back slowly. It's going, but we're not doing great. Now we are in the largest atrium. There are four and a half acres under glass here in the Delta. With all three atriums combined, there are 11 acres under glass, including sound weights. And then on the right hand side, we have this awesome painting hanging on the wall. That is by the artist Christopher Chose of Gonzalez. That ties into our visual arts tour. So these paintings are scattered all along the Delta, with artists including Carrie Underwood, Thomas Rat, Hank Williams Jr., and a few others to name. We're also cruising under the highest point in the entire hotel. So up in that tip top center up there is 15 stories high. There are 6,200 panes of glass that are covering your heads. To give you an idea of how many panes of glass that is, if you're to lay them down flat, they would cover about seven football fields. And they're about an inch thick, weighing in at around 250 pounds each, and can withstand up to 120 mile per hour winds and golf ball size sails. And then on my left hand side, this is where I was talking about the, uh, the Atrium Vibes concert. It happens right here on this stage, so you can sit on all those steps along the fountain. And then after you get done with the, the Atrium Vibes concert, if you stick around at 7, 8, 9, and 10 p.m., there are three fountain shows. There are 106 fountains surrounding one geyser, and during those fountain shows, that geyser in the middle can reach up to 85 feet in the air. So this where you got the music and light. So if you're here later this evening, I encourage you to check out at least one of those shows at 7, 8, 9, and 10 p.m. Mark your calendars, or don't, whatever you prefer. I'm not going to tell you all how to live your life. You're welcome. Straight ahead up on that hill is our giant pink mansion. That is the award-winning Old Hickory Steakhouse. That is a replica of the Evergreen Plantation outside of New Orleans, Louisiana. And we have one of these safe houses in each of our sister properties at the Gaylord Palms, the Gaylord Texan, the Gaylord National, and the Gaylord Rockies as well. Have y'all been to any of our other Gaylord properties? I've been to the Palms. <laughs> any other ones? <laughs> I love being able to guess and I know where it is because you're like, yep, and I'm like, from Florida, so I'm going to guess the home. Now, we are the oldest, the biggest, and we like to say the best, but, you know, I'm not going to say anything else about that. But to give you an idea of how much bigger we are compared to our other properties, we do have the Gaylord Homes in Orlando, Florida, and the Gaylord Texas in Grapevine, Texas. You can actually pick up either one of those properties and put them in this atrium, and they would fit. The Texan in Grapevine, Texas. But we also have the Gaylord National in National Harbor, Maryland. And then we have the Gaylord Rockies and then the We made it to our waterfall section of the river. There's all that cool misty breeze coming off of one of our waterfalls. They are not the largest waterfalls that we have here in the hotel. The largest waterfall is located in the Cascades Atrium. It is 44 feet tall and you can walk behind that one and take pictures. These waterfalls do serve a purpose here in our river. It is our main filtration system to give oxygen to our fish. So the water turns over about every three hours for about a thousand gallons per minute. On the left and right hand side of the boat, we have some of our Asian banana trees. If you look to the left hand side, we actually have a couple of the trees serving to grow bunches of bananas. So Asian bananas are smaller, sweeter, and higher in potassium. If you're looking for a snack pack full of potassium, don't take them off my dick, but you can find them at your local grocery store. Now we are about to go under our banyan tree. Our banyan tree is native to India, and many cultures believe that if you make a wish under one of these trees, that they're bound to come true. So I encourage everyone to make a wish. All right, did everybody make a wish? I'm not trying to rush y'all, so make sure you have enough time. These do look like vines hanging down, but they're actually roots. And if we were to allow these roots to come down and touch soil, it would produce a support system for our banyan tree to grow and grow and slowly take over the delta atrium. So we like that the size is now. We're going to keep it that way. They do have larger banyan trees in India, Hawaii, and several other places as well. And then also directly behind me is a large bay window. That is one out of five of our presidential suites. There's also the only bi-level suite that we have. It has a nice little spiral staircase and a beautiful family on there as well. Now several U.S. presidents have in that suite. Why don't I Judd and Dolly Parton have also a name? That suite does have a name. You'll never guess who it is. 
This is only part and sweet. Should stay there so much when we first open that they decide it's made last winter. That room does run for about roughly $35 to $3,800 a night. But fear not, you do get three complimentary bottles of ice cold water with your stay. So, that's every nice day. Totally kidding. You get better. <laughs> better things than that. Water is just a bonus. Then on the right hand side, we have Stoney, our American alligator. He's sitting on the rock over there. Everybody say hi to Stoney. Hi, yes, Stoney. I'm actually the only one who is trained to interact with Stoney. So I taught him a trick about three and a half months ago. I don't know if he still remembers it, but we'll try it out. No promises. Stoney, stay. <laughs> Boy, y'all seem to be in Isn't that crazy? So I am waiting on my certificate in the mail that says I'm a certified gator trainer. I think it got lost. Not sure. Now how we know he is a, an American alligator is when we go and give him belly rub. His belly says made in the USA. So. Easy to identify. On the right hand side we have this brick cylinder building. That is our D6 elevator. So we're on level zero. If you were to take us to level one, it would take you to Delta Island or to Cascade Front Lobby. Level two would take you down the old Hickory walkway, past the big house, and then the garden conservatory. Soundwave or Magnolia. Now we are riding on a replica of a Mark Twain Mississippi flatboat. It does take 16 car size batteries to run on. Unlike us being on a track out here, we have full steering capabilities in our boathouse. Our boathouse will be on the left hand side in just a few short moments. We have five boats from our each fleet. We have four in the boathouse and then one on here. Four plus one, easy enough. Seven. Am I right? All the kids didn't even pay attention. It's summer vacation, I got it. It's five. Just in case y'all need to have a refresher, four plus one is five. Okay. So you should see all the boats tied up in there. If you have them notice that we're missing one, don't tell me. I don't want to know. It'd be better if I didn't know. But a lot of our fish like to hang out in there. The zebra darker and cooler for them. And along the right hand side, we have our large metal grate fronting that wall. That is part of our ventilation system to help keep our temperatures at a perfect 68 to 72 degrees year round, no matter what temperatures like outside. And then lastly, on my left hand side, we have these beautiful cocoa bean trees against this brick wall. Those cocoa bean trees were donated to us after our flood of 2010. We did have a flood back in 2010 that affected pretty much all of Nashville. The water did get into our hotel to give you an idea of how high the water's got here in the Delta. This bridge we're going to go under, the little bitty multicolored light bulbs were covered in water. Now we also had an 85 pound catfish named Donnie who lived in our river before the flood, and then he left. He swam right out to the Cumberland River, but not like that. Ten years later, we're still a little sad about that one. But we can't be mad though, you know. He literally went with the flood. Okay, did you have a question? Oh yeah, so we lost a lot of our plants. We closed for six months, about $200 million in renovation. And that was the first time we had ever closed. And then just recently was the second time we ever closed. So. Although I didn't do much of the talking, I still hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching this episode of Rambling with Phil. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.